The calm before the storm. In 2008, the Clark County Elections Office was filled to the brim with voters voting for a new president. Although not a presidential year, the general election this November will be breaking some records of its own. We are going to have a very large ballot. It's going to be eight and a half inches by 17 inches with uh, information ballot contests, uh, races and issues on both sides of that ballot. And so we have uh, four statewide advisory uh, issues. We have two initiatives, statewide initiatives. We have six local county advisory issues. We have uh, 15 freeholder positions. That's five freeholder positions for each of the three commissioner districts. And then, of course, we have all the other races we have in the, in the odd number of years, uh, school districts, port districts. Um, so it's uh, going to be a very large ballot. Another first in this year's general election is the number of candidates vying for a county freeholder position. We actually have a couple races where there's like 14 candidates running for one position, uh, one of the freeholder positions. We have 109 uh, candidates for the 15 positions, and uh, that certainly we've never had uh, that many candidates for uh, uh, these positions. And of course, this is unusual. We're not having a primary for these freeholder races. This is kind of a winner-take-all uh, contest in the general election. So the top vote getter in each of those 15 positions will be elected um, in, in this general election. The elections department is predicting about a 50% voter turnout. Preparations are already underway for a smooth voting process. The thing we do in elections world is we rely on our temporary elections workers. So we bring in folks who work only during elections, uh, during the high time, uh, the busy time of elections. And so we, right now, in fact, we have uh, three temporary election workers in the office. and. We'll, we'll ramp that up as we get closer to Election Day and when, we, and when we mail ballots out. Voters will likely need extra time to fill out their ballot. In addition, the voters' pamphlet will be a record 96 pages. The last day to register by mail is October 7th. October 28th will be the last day to register in person at the elections office. Well, you know, the people who are elected this fall will make decisions that impact people's lives, whether it's a city council race or it's a school district race or a, a sewer district race. Local government affects people's lives every day. And we have seen, certainly in this state and in this county, uh, some very, very close races. So um, we've had some good examples of how one vote makes a difference. The County Elections Department will be introducing a mobile website this year that voters can access from their smartphones. For more information about the general election or about freeholder candidates, visit ClarkVotes.org.